All right, ladies and gentlemen, it seems I am some kind of wizard or prophet because last week I said this. That to me, that's like a police vehicle, you know, like police blocks or rest, search and rescue. Who knows? And this week, when we log on to Trailmakers, we get this on the screen. The rescue pack. So I predicted that we we're getting some kind of rescue pack of some kind or DLC or update. And yeah, we're getting a rescue themed pack DLC here. So when we hop over to the Steam page, you can add it to your wish list. There's not much information about the rescue pack as of now, but the fact that they announced the theme of the DLC is awesome. Although we don't get a lot of information as of now with the rescue pack, I do have a little bit of text that explains a little bit about the DLC. The Trailmakers Rescue Pack adds the urban downtown feeling to Trailmakers with new blocks, skins, and cosmetics in the theme of Metropolitan Emergency Services, the everyday heroes of any modern society. And in that little description there, it seems we're getting new skins, new blocks, maybe a new map. I don't know, that could be a possibility. Don't take my word for it though. And new cosmetics. And hopefully sometime in the future, Future, they'll actually let us go more in depth and see what the actual new blocks will be. But I am definitely excited where Trailmakers is heading with this DLC, and I think it's definitely another step in the right direction for Flashbulb games. But even though we're not allowed to look at what's installed for the DLC just yet, there is something I am allowed to discuss with you today. That is the new feature coming to 1.8. And instead of me yapping, you know what, let's just play the video. My first opinions on this is it's not a big feature, but I definitely think it's a necessary one to just improve the atmosphere of the all-round game, especially when it comes to PvP and multiplayer. So let's go more in depth into this. I actually have the original file here for the video and we can just skim across and see what's up. So this is the first kill feed when you obviously eliminate yourself. If you fall into a giant sandworm, for example, it will show up saying your player name, this little skull icon, which indicates you died, and then it will say eliminated. So I guess you can see who accidentally terminates themselves in a server. So this next one is a defeated kill feed. So this is more of a PvP kill feed. So Johannes defeated Traveler. Instead of just the skull, there's a target on the skull, which is nice because obviously the player got shot. And then obviously instead of saying eliminated, it says defeated. So it's a bit like Minecraft in that sense. Depending Depending on how the character is eliminated, it will come up with different kill feeds and different explanations on how the character has died. This next one shows when a player has manually respawned. So if they backspace, for example, or on a controller, if you hold X, you'll obviously be teleported back and respawn. But in a multiplayer server, everyone in the game or in the lobby will be able to see that you respawned. Which is nice to see what other players are doing when you're in an online server, just to get a gist on what's happening in the game. We also have another feed where it shows when a player manually teleports. So I'm guessing that's when you go on your map and then you select the different locations to teleport to. When you do that, everyone in the game will also see that you did that. Here's an interesting one. If you manage to destroy somebody's seat, it will say the player has been ejected, which is actually quite smart and funny for a vehicle building game. The fact if your seat just completely gets destroyed, you just get ejected. And in this case, into space. 
Here's another example of a PvP kill feed where a player has just been exploded. So if you die from an explosion, it'll say exploded instead of defeated. I also think that this next one is a really nice and subtle feature. The fact that when you are in the build mode, we all know when you're in the build mode, your player is essentially invincible. But in 1.8, it seems that it'll actually show you if a player is in build mode by having the player's name shown in white with a little block icon next to the name. And that will help to just simply show you who's building and who wants to chill and who's not really up for PvP because they're building some awesome new creation. Or maybe they're just doing some minor adjustments to actually get ready to do some battling. And with that last one, that is pretty much everything shown off in this little video that the devs have released. Let me know what you guys think about this new feature coming to the game and if you think this is a necessary feature. Personally, yeah, I think it's awesome. Great improvement to the game. Like, obviously, it's not much, but it's like just enough to hit the sweet spot. I am definitely excited for 1.8. So far, we have seen two features out of the three coming to 1.8. This is excluding the DLC. But if you didn't know already, the first feature we reviewed is the new cinematic camera, which if you press here on the top of the screen, you can go ahead and watch that video to find out more. But yeah, so far, cinematic camera, kill feed. I wonder what's next. Also, it is definitely confirmed that we're getting new cosmetics, new blocks, and everything in the Rescue DLC. So put down below your predictions on what kind of new blocks we're going to get. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? If you're over here, you obviously love Trailmakers content. And if you haven't already, just subscribe. It is free. It is totally free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!